My chocolate cheesecake is a delightfully smooth and easy to make recipe with a light Oreo crust topped with glossy one bowl chocolate sauce. Let's get started. Today we're going to be using a 20 centimeter or 8 inch spring form pan. This is the type of pan where when you spring it open it just is much easier to get your cheesecake out. Unclasp the sides and then add a large piece of baking paper on top of the bottom of your cake pan. Then add the sides back on top, clasp it nice and tight and then cut the excess baking paper off the spring form pan. Set this aside and let's get started with our Oreo crust. It's really easy, add some Oreos to the bowl of a food processor and pulse until you reach fine crumbs. Alternatively, you can add the cookies to a large Ziploc bag and crush using a rolling pin. Next, you want to pour the butter into the crumbs and pulse or mix until the crumbs are coated and resemble wet soil. When squeezed together in your hand, it should come together kind of like a cookie. Pour three quarters of the mixture into the lined pan and use the back of a spoon to firmly press into the sides of the pan all the way up to the top. Pour the remaining cookie mixture into the pan and press firmly into the bottom. Now, I know that some people do this using a measuring cup, but I actually just <laughs> carefully bend my spoon and that's the way I like to do it. Then I just bend it back and it's good as new. Once you've got this done, you wanna bake it for 10 minutes, then allow it to cool down completely. Lower the oven temperature to 120 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit because we're gonna move on to making that gorgeous chocolate cheesecake filling. To the bowl of a clean food processor, add the softened cream cheese and Greek yogurt. Pulse until smooth for about a minute. It's really important guys that you make sure your softened cream cheese is actually softened. You can take this out the night before and allow it to thaw, or you can just pop it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. If you don't have a food processor, you can actually make this by hand using a spatula or a electric hand mixer. Scrape down the bowl of your food processor and add the eggs. Pulse until smooth. Then scrape down again and add the sugar, cornstarch and salt. Pulse for another 60 seconds. The cornstarch in this recipe is going to help combine and bind everything in the cheesecake filling and you're going to be left with this ultra smooth, delicious, creamy, chocolatey mixture. To get that chocolate flavour, we're going to be adding some melted chocolate which I've melted and I'm adding it in here while it's still a little bit warm. Pulse that until it's well combined. Make sure you scrape it in the bowl at least once to make sure that everything combines really evenly. Now, because this is a baked cheesecake, we're gonna be baking this in a water bath. Now, most recipes ask you to wrap your springform pan in foil. I wanna show you a much easier way to bake your cheesecake and make sure it bakes nice and flat on top in your water bath. So the water bath is gonna allow the cheesecake to bake nice and evenly and gently. Add your springform pan into a slightly larger round cake tin and then add that into a large dish. It doesn't have to be round like mine, it can be square or rectangle. You just want to make sure everything is at least two inches in height. Add the cheesecake filling into the Oreo crust that is cooled. Use a spatula to smoothen out the top. Then you're going to fill the larger baking dish with water up to halfway. You're gonna bake this for 50 to 60 minutes or until the center of your cheesecake slightly jiggles when you shake it. Once it's baked, allow it to cool to room temperature, then place in the fridge to chill for at least two hours. Once your cheesecake is chilled, and it's really important that it's cold before you unclasp it, unclasp the springform pan, release the cheesecake, place it on a serving plate, and finish by pouring some chocolate sauce on top using a spatula to spread slightly over the sides. My chocolate sauce recipe is on my website, thescramline.com. It's a one bowl recipe, really easy, nice and glossy, and it tastes delicious. 
If you want to grab the recipe for this cheesecake, it's on my website, thescranlines.com. Link for that is in the box below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline. Bye.